You were always like used to playing computer games. Did you like step out of your house to play? I used Since? to I used to play a lot of cricket mm-hmm. uh, but mere pata nahi I think jhagde bahut ho gaye the society mein society ke bachcho ke sath ke ye mujhe acha nahi lagta tha wo acha nahi lagta tha to isliye main zyada khel nahi paya but main apne school mein bahut khelta tha kya wahan par there was this compulsory one hour activity period about that so i was in a day school mm-hmm. just because ke wo bandh ke rakhte the wo wala scene ho gaya to they thought ke are hum ye kar sakte isko day school bhej dete na pura din hi nahi ho gaye ghar pe सो so, हाँ फिर मैं डे स्कूल में था सुबह नौ से शाम के पाँच छः बजे घर पे ही नहीं रहता था देर वॉज दिस वन आर एक्टिविटी पीरियड विच स्टार्ट ऑन फोर टू लाइक फाइव एंड फॉर थ्री मंथ्स आई कोड सेलेक्ट वन एक्टिविटी ओके एंड आई सेलेक्टेड स्विमिंग फॉलोड बाई स्केटिंग एंड बास्केटबॉल आई वॉज नेवर इंटरेस्टेड इन मेन स्ट्रीम मेन स्ट्रीम सो आई वॉज लाइक यहाँ पर फुटबॉल और क्रिकेट में बहुत सारे लोग हैं वहाँ पर मुझे नहीं जाना क्योंकि बहुत ज़्यादा ओवर रेटेड हो जाता है यू नो आई आई वॉन्ट टू स्टैंड आउट सर मेक अ चॉइस दैट इज डिफरेंट सो वही अभी आई थिंक दैट इज अपलाइंग राइट नो ऑल्सो When you stepped out of your house to play with mm. your friends, I'm assuming you had friends. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have still uh, a lot of them. Yeah, in fact, like the friendships have continued. Yeah, they they know me still. Like whenever I go to my place, uh, I have a chat with them sometimes. Okay, what's going on in their life? So most of them are doing engineering now. So which was expected, honestly. Uh-huh. Like of course that that's what you do if you are living in that's what either you are doing some. Uh, I I if you are like in that's what you might be giving meat or you might be giving dairy. So or most of the times it's like. joining your dad's business which Ooh. is not the case with me so yeah so yeah yeah i have a uh, chat with them sometimes i i used to even play with them before class got released like i used to play cricket with them that's when oh. my choice become mainstream ke ab mujhe cricket khelna hai okay uh, what is that one dish hmm. that even today when you eat it mm-hmm. it suddenly teleports you you know to your childhood if i could really think about it i think it would be uh, There was this palak ki sabzi that mm-hmm. my mom made, and uh, I don't have palak ki sabzi here because it's made in a way that palak turns into gravy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And my mom added palak ke leaves. Huh. So whenever I have it, I just remember like my five to ten ka age for some reason because I used to eat that a lot, and no nobody really liked that except of me. Like I liked some. like really off things as a child like people like uh, you know nashta and all and i was a person who liked uh, fruits more like mo- mosambi more and mosambi is a gujarati word i don't know in hindi it's called mosam mosambi right so uh, that and palak ki sabzi so i used to have it every night like every night mo uh, if i was i think around 5 uh, or 6 i used to have it every night so whenever i had that palak ka sabzi uh, i just remember me uh, having it when i was a kid uh, and that was specifically on my dining table my dining table back in rajkot it's like a six seater dining table it's a wooden dining table and i used to sit on the left left hand side from my dad's side okay. it was like second seat so i specifically remember having it every night that too with sometimes khichdi and kadhi and it's a gujarati thing like khichdi kadhi and palak ki sabzi or bakri so yeah i specifically remember it and it remember it reminds me of my childhood The fact that you studied so much, so you said geography and history were your favorite subjects. It, it was like changing all the time. So uh, after eleventh, it was physics. Like after tenth, it was physics because it was really interesting. I, uh-huh. I can still like uh, teach physics. Mm. I still remember every formula. I uh, when I even like I'm free sometimes. I used to like I, I still solve a few things. Like I have uh, a few books. Uh, people who have done J would know this. I have R D Sharma. I have H C Verma. I have uh, Irodov. Irodo is the hardest book uh, if you see to solve like any physics problem. I still can't solve a lot of problems from that, but I I solve electrostatics or current electricity or uh, kinematics because these are like my favorite topics. Yeah. It it started I think with social science, then science, biology, 10th I think my favorite might be chemistry and then it was just physics. It was all of them because everything was pretty understanding and not cramming. Yeah. yeah. You also spoke about when you were in 6th 7th 8th you would s- sit in the class not pay attention and yeah. you would dream ke when I become you know when I turn 18 <laughs> I'll do this. What were you dreaming of? Did uh, you dream of becoming an actor honestly? Uh, of course I did. I, I did. Yeah? Yeah, I did. In fact uh, so uh, it always starts with you know something uh, like it's always starts with something materialistic so i i started with you know I, i'll always give the sort of interviews i'll accept an award i'll give that speech but uh that award thing was like far fetched it it never really uh, i think i started dreaming about all that after 13 but before that i used to think about what will i answer in an interview 
Yeah, yeah, seriously, that was the thing I used to think about. You know, if this sort of question comes, this is the most. Uh, I think this is an appropriate answer. It is not biased. It is uh, like the ultimate truth, as you might describe it. Yeah. It's it's funny how an actor sitting here is talking about the ultimate truth. Do yeah, you? Yeah. But do you? Okay, how, you know the amount of interviews that you've done. Mm-hmm. Okay, how many times do you actually say the ultimate truth? I try to say it almost every time. Like, see, the ultimate truth doesn't mean you know the truth that stands. Like, it's not written somewhere that it's truth. It's truth for me. Like, it's mm. my honest truth. Yeah. So I want to be honest at every single moment in my life. Like, at least to me, that if I'm doing something, I should know the intent behind it. Yeah. So if even I'm lying, I know I'm lying. It's not, uh, you know, it's not something that you know. My bull say this is something cool. That's why I'll say it. no. I know for a fact that I'm saying this. I'm pretty mindful about that. Ooh, yeah. Nice. the current problem that the gen z culture goes through mm-hmm. or humans go through is that the definition and meaning of relationships have changed mm-hmm. because you know the the burst of social media okay. uh there has also been you know you also feel that hey why do i have to wait for this person when i can just go on social media huh. slide into dms and sliding into dms has become a thing True. Uh, what is your take on this entire thing that's what it is na love turned into a relationship a relationship turned into a choice now hmm. so you have choice that if you want to stay or if you want to leave hmm. if you want to stay that means i think you have love if you don't want to stay that means it's not love as you want to claim it yeah as much as you would say you know it's love it's this and that i don't really agree to that and i i still believe that love is supposed to be without any conditions लाइक like, शर्तें तो अग्रीमेंट में होती है ना ये सब प्यार व्यार में क्यों है कि तुम रहोगे तो ही मैं रहूँगा तुम ये दोगे तभी मैं ये दूंगा तो ये तो तुम एक रिलेशनशिप ही तो बिल्ड कर रहे हो तुम्हें ये, ये तो सशर्त हो गया ये प्यार नहीं है हाँ तो मैं नहीं बिलीव करता ये सब चीज़ों में और मुझे चाहिए रहता है कि मैं अगर किसी के प्यार में पड़ जाऊँ तो मैं फिर वो नहीं देखता कि मुझे प्यार आ रहा है मैं उसको ये दे रहा हूँ तो मुझे ये मिल रहा है या नहीं मैं छोड़ देता हूँ वो सब मैं मैंने दे देता हूँ कि प्यार मिलना होगा तो मिल जाएगा मुझे देना है बट यस नॉट इन अ क्रीपी वे कि अरे हाँ भाई तुम्हें नहीं चाहिए मैं दूंगा तुम्हें अरे अरे ऑफकोर्स नॉट बट यस इट शुड बी लाइक अ गिव एंड टेक इट्स नॉट फॉर मी दैट्स दैट माइट बी रिलेशनशिप नॉट लव Hi my name is Chintan Raj and if you like this Ravan speaking please subscribe like share to Ravan speaks and I love his energy so I guess you might want to watch him more